Well, hello everybody. It's me. And today is going to be another 20 minutes or less craft. Today we're working on ephemera. And um, I just had this wild hair up my butt yesterday. And I tried something, wanted to see if it worked, and it came out looking pretty cool. So I figured I'd share. Um, they just plain cardstock. And dictionary paper. So, and this is what I did. Okay, so you need plain cardstock, dictionary paper, and some sort of distress ink in any color you want. Alright, and a glue stick. <clears throat> Scissors if you want. You can punch these out in, uh, you know, shapes, or tear them out in shapes. Now, me, I just left them, you know, in rectangle style sizes, so. Alrighty. There we go. Okay, but I'm going to try different sizes this time, or different shapes this time. So let's let's try something like that. And then we'll do smaller pieces too, because you may not want such a big piece that I showed in the original. And yeah, the white I'm throwing out, the little pieces I throw in my collage bag. I have a Ziploc baggie that I keep collage material in. So we have smaller pieces, and we'll do one big piece. So there we go. I don't like that bottom part, so we'll pull that out there, but I'll put that in my, in my collage. Okay. Now, I'm just gluing right on the page. I'm not worried about glue going off the side. All right. And what I did realize is because I like the ripped edge look, you know, the torn edge look, I don't want to put glue it right close to the edge because I want to be able to tear that side off and make it look more, you know, vintagey. This is all I'm doing, and you can do this on one sheet and get several different pieces of ephemera done at the same time. Now, obviously, this would just be one layer. Oops, that one folded over on itself. See, I didn't even put that right side up. I just kind of tilted it at an angle. Oops. Didn't get the edge on that one or this side. I want to put that a little too close to the side, but that's okay. Now, if you wanted, after we do this, there's a piece right here that didn't get glue. You know, you can just take this and cut pieces out with your punches. You can do whatever you want. 
All right. Now. Yeah. Okay. And then all I did was distress them. All over it. Missed a spot with the glue. That's okay. Even if it curls up, I think that'll look cool. So, we've got that one piece done. Let's do another since we're only at five minutes. But this is how quick this went. Yeah, I think even the curled edges look cool. Right there, some glue that if you wanted it there, you could keep it there. If not, I like the look because it makes it look more, more used. So, but yep, 20 minutes or less, you can get a bunch of these done at once and just put them aside for when you do your next journal and I like doing this also because when you do that the ink makes the edges the torn edges look darker so let's turn this around my wrist kind of hurts because I was doing a whole bunch of these last night <laughs> Just watching videos and making ephemera. Now this is Tim Holtz Distress Ink Vintage Photo. Um, I like it. It's not as dark as the walnut stain, but I like the walnut stain too. And for some reason it looks a lot darker on the screen than what it really is. So. Keep that in mind. All right. So we got six pieces of, of ephemera done already. Let's set that aside. And now I'm just going to tear them out. Now I'm putting them, I'm backing the this stuff. What's this stuff called? Oh, the dictionary pages. Yeah. I'm backing them on the cardstock because obviously the dictionary pages are so thin. Okay. I'm also tearing it in half, make it a little bit easier to work with. There we go. See after those are torn out. Kind of don't like that right there. There we go. Then you take your distress ink or whatever ink you use to distress it. And you just go around and you ink up those torn edges. 
Now, if you don't like the torn edges showing, okay, instead of tearing towards you, tear away from you, and that won't show. So I'll show you. Okay, you see how you can see the white right there at the edge? That's because I was tearing towards myself. All right. Now, if I don't want that white edge, okay, like right there, you see that white edge with the tear? Okay, if I don't want that, then I tear away from me. Or flip it over, but it's kind of hard to see. Yep, yeah, mess that one up. Okay, there we go. Okay, now you see the difference? Right there, right here, is where I started tearing towards me, but the rest of it, can't, let me see. The rest of it, yeah, there's only that one spot right here by my thumb where I was tearing towards me. The rest of it was away. I'll show you again, like right here. Actually, let me make this a little bit darker around the outside so you can see that. Recording. Okay. Just a little bit darker, not too much. Okay, now you can see on the bottom, right here, where my finger is between mine. There we go right here, um, I was tearing towards me, you know, uh, tearing towards me, that gives you that white edge. Now on some projects, I really like that white edge. You may not. Okay. But when you tear it away from you, the white edge goes on the opposite side of the page. There we go. See the difference? This is torn away from me. This is torn towards me. Let me get my thumb out of the way. This side right here. But yeah. So then you have the torn towards you, which you can see. Sometimes you don't get all the white, so it takes a little bit of effort. And it also depends on the style of paper. But then when you're tearing away from you, you get that really nice crisp edge. Uh, let me put it on a piece of paper so you can see the difference. See, so you got the crisp edge on this side and the torn edge on this side. So that's just a little bit of a helpful hint. I forgot to do this one. Okay.
just about done. Doesn't take long at all. get done. And there we go. You've got some ephemera pieces you can tear up, you can glue, you can stick somewhere else. Make them different sizes. See, I like that one. Tuck them in a journal, fill a page. You name it, you can do it. All in the name of crafts, right? And there we go. There's your 20 minute craft or less. I uh, hope everybody has a great day. And if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Share it. And um, subscribe. So, everybody have a great day. Bye.